Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm gonna come at you here with a Merlin God Guide slash play by play. People have been asking me all the time to do a Merlin video, so I decided to slam one out now um, and do a God Guide for him. Um, so basically, you start off with uh, your one here because it optimizes your best clear uh, with Void One. I'm gonna do a different type of build, and I'm going to so do uh, a a this build where I can get boots online faster and can start out. Kind of start my snowball properly. So basically, I'm gonna start with my one, and now here I'll, I'll go into normal cast here. I'll start with my one, and it's a big circle that does a big AOE damage, and if you hit the center, it does a burst damage, and then small ticks of damage in the AOE area. <coughs> so I'm gonna be oneing over the wall here. He has spiders here, so I can one over the wall at 20 seconds. Go into mid, and I should get the camp guaranteed. I might actually wait to 21. I mean, he has good amount of power. So yeah, I'm going to use my first ability here. I don't have my three, by the way. It's just bugged. So I'm going to use that max range. It should do enough procs to get me the XP. I'm hoping. I did not get it. That is unlucky. It looks like he pulled it out. And I did not end up getting it, which is fine. So I'm going to go into fire stance here because she shouldn't have too much pressure. So when I press four, I can turn into uh, any stance by pressing four and then one, two, or three, depending on the stance that you're in. Uh, I'm just going to start this here. My reckoning will come over. I'm going to use my multi potion here. I'm in fire stance, so it's not really the best stance you want to be in, but given the circumstances, not really much I can do. I'm going to go back to mid here, clear, get two. Circuit and Isis are on the red, so this should be free clear. We give up right mid or left mids here, but it should be fine. Uh, I'm going to save. Right. No worry at all. So my fire two here now, so I, 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 there's three different sets of abilities. There's ice, fire, and void. Uh, so this is fire stance. So fire two is a cone, two cones going into each other in center, and it reduces uh, prots in the person that are getting burned from one of the cone damages. That's all it does is just damage and prot shred. Play back here. I don't want to get taunted by Sirkad here. She still has dash. I'm going to cut off her path here. Not really much I can do. Right, I'm going to play back here. Not in the dream scenario stance here. So sometimes you want to turn into ice stance, but just for the reasons like that where like you lose clear here. So basically, in uh, ice stance, uh, your ice one is a uh, straight line ice ability that just does uh, damage and it does a AOE at the end. So if it hits someone, it does a little AOE at the very end. So you max your two if you're going to sit in ice stance for a while. And it allows you to clear really fast. You put three points into it and it will help you clear really fast. Uh, here, I'll come into base and I'll show you the void stance as well. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy a potion. I'm going to turn into void here. So now you already saw the void one, which is a giant line that comes out. And then it's an AoE circle that does dot damage over time as long as you're in the area. Um, your void two now is a... Um, your void 2 is a pull, so this is the void 1, and if I press 2, it's going to pull them into the center of that pull. So it's a big circle here, and it does, it pulls everything together. <clears throat> so that's what that does. So usually when you're maxing your 2 like this, you want to stay inside of, uh... You want to stay in, inside of Ice Stance, because that gives you the best clear. Uh, as you can see, I don't clear archers here, but if I was in ice stance, I do clear archers, and I just have more pressure as well to do to the slow and everything like that. Now your three stays the same through all out stances. Um, I'm just in ice now because there's no point of being in. Mm, probably dead here. <clears throat> Unlucky, she's five. I would have been five if I got speed up XP, but it is what it is. So basically there, uh, your Ice 2, I don't know if I said this, but your All Ice 2 is a stacking slow the longer they're inside of the Ice 2, which is the AoE circle on the ground. Dropping icicles from the sky is a AoE slow that does a lot of damage if you uh, stay in it and it's maxed. And then your 3 is just a flicker, I'll use it here. You can go over walls with it. It's a very short dash, but uh, you can go over walls with it and uh, everything like that. Uh, your fourth ability... Uh, as you can see, I have it since level 1, but uh, when you get level 5 and you put a point into it, it, uh, it adds an extra effect of... Um, and adds an extra effect of uh, your transforming into different um, 
stance. So if I transform a, of ice into fire, it, it goes out ice Time for and slows them out. and then puts a fire burn on them going into fire stance. But if I'm going out of void, for example, into ice, I will do... Um, uh, it will knock of them out and then uh, then slow them and then if I do a um, if I'm ice into void it will pull them in to me wait other way around <laughs> other way around other way around things to the right sorry there's so many things to this god I'm losing a track of which ones I'm saying already like that so that's basically the majority of them sorry there's a lot of info in five minutes there but that's that's pretty much the majority of info that you can get from the character. There's a lot to this character. It's very complex, so I'll be going over like what I'm doing and what I'm looking to do um, as the game goes on. Um, this character is a pretty good god when you get to late game. He kind of struggles in the early phases. Doesn't really have a good uh, showing and everything like that. So it's just important to. Should this guy's speed since he's not uh, coming to here and he's rather staying my wave. Um, yeah, basically, the later this uh, the game goes, the stronger basically Merlin becomes. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, as you see, I'm putting my, more points in my one now since my ice is at level three. I should be able to clear, uh, or I, I'm able to clear the full wave with just an ice two, which allows for the safest option and everything like that. I also. Have this is a weird interaction. Knock them up. Turn into that. Pull them back in. Ice should be dead here. Nice. So that's really a big thing is when you're turning into or out of void stance, you have a lot of disruption due to the knockups that you have and everything like that. Uh, oh, I don't want to click that. I don't have any buttons here, unfortunately. I already used all my buttons. Two seconds, one second. Turn an ice stand so I can clear here. That's another thing is like cooldown management with Merlin is really important since his cooldowns are pretty long outside of his ice one. Uh, and unfortunately, since I use my abilities there, I can really like instantly fight. And uh, yeah, so that's something to keep a note of. That's pretty important. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna throw a dime there ever I just cleared backing anyway for my uh, full two more going to yoink another ward here so now I'm really uh, at a strong point due to me having full doom orb over the Isis who has uh, looks like she's going Cronespin and a rod here as light steel boots something to keep in mind um, yeah, so you just have a lot of pokes. Like this is pretty much like the farming sesh of um, Merlin. He doesn't really have that strong of stuff right now. This will be enlightening. So I, I do have a lot of poke value. An enemy has been taken by the dark. Dang, on Fortnum. Could have had a good sum there. Uh, Killing spree. <laughs> don't really have that much turn due to uh, me getting instant exploded by Ice's ult, but. Kind of is what it is. Uh, I thought the Arachnid was kind of going to instant engage and stun the serve off of it. No, I just live there for free. But it is fine. It is fine. Um, but yeah, as you see, you don't really want to use Fire Stance. There's really very rare occasions that you want to use Fire Stance due to like Fire Stance not really being as much value to you as other, the other stances. Like Fire Stance is very close range and not that much damage. If you can guarantee full ticks of your 2 and your 1, it becomes more damage, but the chance that you're able to do that is just very, very low. Um, also, it doesn't really matter that I died there either. I'm still out farming the Isis by 300 gold, so I'm really happy there. Now that my 1 is maxed as well, my Void 1 full clear so I can stay in, technically, in my opinion, the best stance of Merlin. Uh, his void one just, or his void stance is just really good. Has a lot of self peel, uh, has a really a lot of all in potential and everything like that. So if you're ever able to like pick out uh, the Isis or Serb, uh, or like to pick out anybody in like a one v one, he has like a really good all in. If like he's ever given the option. So this time I'm, I'm gonna play a little bit safer. Mm.
Another thing to keep note of is that your three is the most one of the most important abilities of your whole entire kit, as it is a very, very, very long cooldown. So it's just something to keep in mind of. So I'm gonna rotate over here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put points into my ult or not. Kind of do want to just be farming here because I feel like we're kind of over committing here. Yeah. Oh, we might be able to pick this guy. Also, I think I, I forgot is that Merlin's passive as well uh, increases his AA damage as a effect that also applies like on hit effects and everything like that. For example, like Polly and everything like that. It applies that Soul Gem, Reaver, that Soul Reaver, and everything like that. Uh, all Merlin abilities goes over the wall besides the uh, Ice one, uh, Merlin Ice one. So yeah, keep that in mind. So much power is such a small This is a little, a little bit of weird of a rotation. I don't know if I really love rotating four people over there, but it's, it is what it is. Kind of just wanted to be farming there, but I, I'm still up 500 gold. And I'm getting to uh, like all my items online as fast as possible. So it's just something to keep in mind. I can all in this ice is here. Yeah, so basically you want to try to use your stand swamp to as much value as you can. Adding as much, um, like, your stand swamp is really important on, like, timing based. I'm clear here. A really safe clear, so. They don't have a wave now, so we can do gold here, yeah, that's good call. Knock him up here. Yeah, basically there, like, uh, you want to kind of just bounce between your ice stance and your void stance, as it's like kind of your most damage. You play for a backflip here. Don't have any buttons here. I don't want to overdive just to the fact of. We have Capriol here, so. Oh, nice. That's a big pick. Uh, that's a fort. Yeah, so just basically dancing between. Uh, this character is pretty much just dancing between your ice dance and your voice dance. And if you really see the opportunity where fire stance can be a lot of value, then you just bounce that. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's like the best thing to do fire stance, as I think a lot of the value becomes from the instant burst that potential that you have from your uh, void stance and stuff like that. Like a combo like this, for example, like here. Like if, if I'm in uh, void stance, for example, here, I'll, I'll try to do it on like a camp or something. But if I'm uh, in void stance and I'm switching to ice stance, I'm gonna knock them back, guar almost guaranteeing my ice one. So as long as you like ice one instantly, you get like a. I would say like a 600 damage poke like at this current stage of the game so that's just something to keep in mind here i'm gonna just full clear this and back off here mm. yeah i'm just back here so basically i'm on like full online site some of the water bottom left i think that is the serb i'm going to go into this because i'm pretty fed so i'm going to go into reaver here as it's the most important i'm just going to stay in void stance because it's the most aoe damage i have and the most aoe of a threat so i'm just going to be in void stance here as i think that is the most impactful at the current time and in starting fights and poking and stuff like that as ice i know ice one has a lower cd but a lot of the poke fights and everything like that comes down a lot of the time to like the AOE and the amount of burst damage you can do to everybody in, in the fight. <clears throat> so basically I just want my positioning to be behind my Kepri here. Wait for setup like that. Should I burn my beats here. See a full void one void one two combo right there to the ISIS basically almost one shot me. That's pretty much why I'm staying in uh, uh void stance there. It's just like there's so much poke that I can do. Now that I'm in an ice stance, all I'm going to try to do is just use my low CDs for poke. Because there's not really much they can do. 
I should just keep my poke up. Turn back into my void stance. Neath has blink for some reason, but it's fine. As I sizzle down, I have seven seconds on my buttons. Two seconds, one second. I'm just playing. I'm playing pretty far back due to this cat. Ultimate is down. Should I use? I'm just gonna hold all my buttons here. Use up all the wall. Look for a flank here, since I'm really fed here. I'm just gonna use that. We have a really big flank here. Uh, that is, should be dead. <clears throat> Just gonna keep using my CDs here as an advantage. Because I have very, very low CD and ice stance. So I already use my ice stance. I don't have beads here, so I'm gonna play back. Uh, everyone should be able to do that. I'm just gonna clear this. Do red here. I'm gonna bounce all the way over to right to catch that wave, the wave of pressure up, which is a pretty important thing to have when you're looking for fire giants and everything like that. So basically, so far, what I've messed up this game is basically just the early game where I'm trying to contest things where I really shouldn't be. My second death was a little bit um, messed up to to the Arachne not playing aggro when I thought she was gonna play aggro. That's usually just a calm thing. Um, yeah, just to show out the wave here. Usually, you don't want to show on the wave because. Um, uh, it just gives info that they're over there and they can possibly look for like a, some type of pick play over at Fire Giant or the left side of the map. Um, so here, I, for example, I'm just going to do red here. I have my strongest fight I can possibly have. I don't have Aegis for 110. So I'm going to play pretty far behind my CERN, which I do believe that he has actives up as I was the one in front of him. I'm going to start this fight in Void Stance again, just keeping that Void Stance up as much as possible. I heard someone top right. I believe that was neat. Oh, Mr. Cat. Oh, that's her dash. That's a fort. Did not okay. think I would catch catch her dash there. <clears throat> Gotta be a little careful here. No, 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 link me. No! I'm dead here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unlucky. Yeah. Uh, once I got my beat force there, but, like playing up, I just thought I was gonna like stay perma link to me, and then we ended up leaving links for me. Which is a little bit rough, but should be fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go into a shard here. I could go into Karen's coin, giving me more survivability and stacking more movement speed with do more, but I think having the first hit doing 40% uh, is going to be pretty important for poke fights as he has Genji's uh, Voidstone going into Thebes. I mean, he's not too tanky, but it's even pretty beneficial to just hit like the people like squishies and everything for 40% and including your flat pen. So that is just something important. Unfortunately, me dying there pretty much like losses the fight automatically because I'm pretty much the strongest person on the team right now. So I gotta I got play really, really selfishly and as greedy as possible. That's kind of what you want to do on Merlin anyway. It's just use that to as much advantage as you can. And also, I, I actually small like a pretty big thing that people actually don't know is like the AAs after you use an ability. Um. <clears throat> It doesn't last for too long, but it's actually really important. Um, because <clears throat> adding 94 extra damage to somebody is actually really important. Gank. We should be able to fight here. I'm really strong. Attack. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> we should be able to get right here for free, unless Arachne overdies and dies. Ooh. <clears throat> we should be able to fight this, I think. Maybe not. Not if we're gonna get Sir Bolted. No, we're splitting up the fight a little bit. Oh, that's Baron ult down there. I'm just gonna play poke here, just keep backing up. This is like a really strong point of Baron. Rock my soul river there with my AA. 
Vice is really low. Okay, I kind of got baited, I'm not going to lie, by the Arachne saying that enemy ultimate down, and then they just use all our ults right there, but it's okay. I'm going to try to kind of position downwards to the Kepri. Maybe look for a pick here. If I can get a pick here, that would be really big. <clears throat> just going to stay in void here as long as I can. <clears throat> I can't all in this Neath because she has backflip here. Mm. Uh, I'm dead here. That's uh, oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, just trying to play a poke as long as I can there and like walk backwards. Pretty much just like where Merlin shines. It's just like if we group up and stuff like that. And then we end up winning the game, but when we split fights like that, then that becomes like where things become bad, and that's not where Merlin shines. Merlin shines in like team fights and everything like that, where he can get um, uh, free damage poke and like constant damage and everything like that. Nice root. This should be a free fight. Nice. Basically, what I was doing that fight, like at the end of that fight, because it was turning bad. Like I'm just using all my buttons as much as I can getting as much DPS as I can out because it's just very important to do the damage that, uh, that like Merlin does because like all of his damage numbers are really high at this stage of the game so constantly getting the damage numbers out and on can like turn fights really easily like sometimes randomly you can get like an instant like uh, fight turn just due to the base damage he does like you could be like Merlin could be in like a 1v5 or 1v3 is type like that and he can like full combo with all of this stuff and just transform and kill and just like frag out like stuff like that it's just where stuff like small stuff like that can be really really in uh, impactful so I know Sir Cat's around here so I'm just gonna be scared of this Sir Cat because she's kind of farming me so I'm just gonna walk towards my team here Constantly use my buttons here. Not really sure. Oh, oh, nice, nice. nice. That's a big pick. That's a big pick. I'm not gonna use my flicker here. Just in the off chance that I get circuited on. I don't want to be up front here. I don't have beads, so. So I really want to use my poke here as much as I can. Fine. Knock up the serve here. Cancel his animation. Oh, that sucks. That's a bad void one. Doesn't really get any value here. We should just go mid. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them off here since I'm really strong. Do a lot of damage to that circuit. Just keeping her off. Not really much that she can do. Probably kill this guy. Forcing him out. That's a lot of damage on the serve. We should get this tower for free now. Yeah, I pretty much just need um, shard right now. Once I get shard, we'll be in a really, really good spot. Sko, I can like spam poke uh, their back or their front line. Basically, what I'm doing to their back line. So all damage that I'm doing is really, really impactful. Get my back off here. Run the gold on Fury. Really important. I'm actually going to go into a... I could go into a Soul Gem. I could go into Rod. I could go into Mirrodin. I think I'm going to go into a Mirrodin here. I think Mirrodin's really a value here. Getting two sets of abilities off off of one transform. Really, really good. So how Mirrodin works is when you transform, your first ability does 70% of the damage, and then your next ability will do 100%. But you get two casts of the same ability instantly after you ult. Which means that I have to choose my ults very carefully, so I get a lot of value out of my transform. And it is the next ability that uses within the 10 seconds to recast it. Uh, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's uh, your first ability is reduced by... Yeah. Please. Maybe going to fire here. Enemy 
Set up an ambush here. I meant to say set up an ambush. Nice. So I'm just staying void as much as I can. Kind of sucks having the, the tier one of this as it's just not that good. Uh, Sam. So yeah. This will be enlightening. Gank middle lane. We should just do fire. Attack fire giant. Attack fire giant. Usually you want to be nice for secure. Sir Blink ult down. Oh, we stayed on it? What the heck? So the ISIS, that's our ISIS beat, I guess. Nice. Yeah, I, I should do so much damage now. Pretty much getting shard there. Slowed her once. Might be able to get her here. <laughs> Don't want to AA there, just in the off chance that I do end up missing that. Slows down my movement speed, which can be the kill, basically. On that four, didn't get that one, but should be fine. Should be able to end here. Also, a note is that all of your like AA buttons and everything like that, they also work on towers and phoenixes and everything like that. So if you're sieging a phoenix or and or tower, you can use your uh, first ability or any of your abilities, and then do um, extra damage to the tower or phoenix that you are sieging. Which is also an important thing to notice, as that actually helps a lot when you're sieging. There's actually a lot of value there in that. So that is pretty much Merlin. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, I'd be down to answer anyway, any of them. And if you uh, like the video, please feel, uh, feel free to put a like down there. Um, and put comments on what you guys want to see next. What type of god guide you would want to see. What play by play. What you guys, what type of knowledge you would like to know about smites. Um, but hopefully this ends up helping you in your Merlin. Not the best showing of them, but this is pretty much just for the the feel of the character and how the character plays and everything like that so that's just really important to know did do 28k in 26 minutes so that's pretty good uh finished out the build with the staff of mirrodin if you're not going to go mirrodin here you go uh could go mantle if you're feeling pressured on the back line like if you're dying a lot go mantle if you're not dying a lot go into um e staff e staff was always a good end of the curve and um thing and uh yeah if you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh please feel free to like subscribe and uh yeah comment for more what you like to see thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it